Welcome to September's Leco Challenge. This problem is called partition to k equals sum subsets. Given an integer array nums and an integer k, return true if it is possible to divide this array into k non-empty subsets whose sums are all equal. For given an array like this and a k of 4, we could divide this up into 4 subsets with a total of 5 for each one of them. So we have 5, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 3. With this number, we can't divide this up into 3 because no matter what, we have a number 4, which already means that we would have to have at least 4. And that's not going to work, right? Because we can't have 3 subsets of 4 here. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we can already intuit. We could calculate what the sum of each partition needs to be pretty easily. What we would need to do is just total up this entire array and divide it by k. Now, if we find that there's a remainder after dividing, that actually means that it's not possible because... There's no way to divide this up equally. So what we'll do is first calculate the total as well as the n. This is going to be the sum of nums, and this is going to be the length of nums. Now let's first calculate, uh, well, let's first see if this is even possible. So we'll say if total uh, and modular k is not equal to 0, then we can return a false immediately. Otherwise, let's calculate what each sum needs to be in our partition. We'll call it part sum. And this will just be the total divided by k. Okay, so now we have a lot of information, but how can we go through this algorithm? Well, what we're going to do is po probably have to do a recursive method. And we're going to basically have to check every single combination. What we'll do is start from the beginning and say, okay, let's sum up for our partition sum. So far we have 4, and we know we need to reach 5, right? And we'll go down the array and say, all right, 4 plus 3. Well, that's greater than 5, so we're not going to even go down that path. And we'll go down all the way down to 1 here. We'll find that that equals 5. And then what we'll do is decrease the number of partitions we have left by 1 and try from the next one. But the way we'll keep track of the ones that we've seen so far, well, there's a couple ways to do that. You can use a bit mask. But what I'm just going to do is have a visited set or a visited array. And we're going to do backtracking. Every time we go down that path, we'll mark it as true. And if we come back up because we weren't able to reach all the partitions, then we're going to mark all those visited nodes false again. So what I'll do is have a visited list. This will just be false at first. And we'll multiply this by n. And now let's write our defer search. We'll say defer search is actually backtracking, but it's fine. And things that we need to pass in, well, let's first pass in how many partitions do we have left? So we'll call it k left. And we'll also pass in the index number that we just came from, the index number. That way we don't waste time checking for ones that we've already visited, as well as the current sum so far for this partition. And each time we find that the current sum is equal to the partition sum, we're going to decrease our k left. So the base case is if k left is equal to 0, that means we've hit all our partitions so we can return a true. Uh, otherwise, if the current sum is equal to partition sum, then we know we've fulfilled one partition. So we'll just recall our defer search and say k left minus 1. But we're going to reset these. We're going to reset our 0 here, index number to 0. And we're going to reset our current sum to 0. All right, so now the main part. We'll call this 4j in range of i through n. And this is going to be helping us optimize a little bit and not check every single one that uh, we know we've already seen. Uh, first thing, we'll make sure we haven't visited. So if not visited j, then we are going to do some back, uh, mark this as true. Oops. And we'll call our def for search again. So we'll call our def for search. k left still remains the same, but Instead of i, I'm going to pass in j here and current sum plus the nums of j. And one way we can actually optimize here is make sure that we don't go down any useless paths. So if this number here, if this is, we've got to make sure it's less or equal to the partition sum. Because if it's not, then there's really no point in going down more paths because we've already seen that we can't, we've gone over the sum that we need to hit for our partition. So let's make sure to reset this by backtracking to false. 
And the way I'll do this, we'll say if this is true, then we'll return a true. Like otherwise, we're just going to continue down other paths. And if we're able to get out of this, then we're going to have to return false here. Okay, and finally, all we need to do then is return the depth of search. How many k's? Well, k's are given to us, and we'll start zero, zero. Now, one way we can actually optimize this, make it a little bit faster, is sort our nums by reversing it. And the reason for this is, say that we had like one, 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 like a million ones at first, and then big numbers at the end, like a thousand, a thousand. It's kind of pointless to go down all these ones first, because it's much faster to start at the hundreds uh, and see if we can actually fulfill our partition sum first. So uh, to make sure that we don't go down like useless paths in the beginning, it's better to put the big numbers up front. Okay, so let's see if this works. Uh, okay, it does not. Uh, let's see, <laughs> I must have made some mistakes here. All right, well, let's see. Okay, it's not nums j, okay, it's nums j. Uh, is that it? Okay, it looks like it's working, so I am going to submit this. This actually might be j plus 1 here. j plus 1. Because we've already seen j. Okay, I'm not totally sure if this is going to work, but let's see. All right, great. So it did get accepted. Time complexity is going to be 2 to the nth power, I believe. Uh, we do use extra space because of this depth search, 2 to the nth power, as well as our visited set, which is going to be O of, o of n. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of other approaches, but this I found to be the fastest. I'm not entirely sure why this is much faster, but um, I think this is most understandable. The bitwise solutions are, are really hard to follow um, and you could actually pass in more information in our depth research but then it gets much much slower so all right thanks for watching my channel remember do not trust me i know nothing